enormously. As one great leader in Andrew Ferrier exits the country, perhaps in Auckland on Wednesday, Fonterra saw the unveiling of a new one. Teo Sperings, despite his relatively young age of 46, is already an industry veteran, spending more than half his life involved in the business of dairy nutrition. Such a single-minded path, however, doesn't come without its baggage. In the Netherlands they call me the milkman and even in the family, so I have to be, uh, I don't know whether I have to be scared of that, but I'm the milkman. 25 years, uh, 12 different jobs on the scene and in five different continents. This is the fifth continent I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to work in. The man most New Zealand dairy farmers will look to for direction certainly comes with some pedigree. He presided over the merger of Holland's two largest dairy companies, Royal Friesland Foods and Campina back in 2008, creating a cooperative giant roughly the same size as our own. Sperring says while he enjoyed much success in his native Netherlands, Fonterra represents the pinnacle of achievement in dairy. It's really something to be proud on. I know that you're all proud on, uh, on the All Blacks, especially when they are going to win the Cup. Uh, but I do believe that uh, this co-op, Fonterra, is something to be extremely proud of. So his words will be music to the ears of both farmers and economists, as he outlined his vision for the company he believes can reach new heights under his leadership. But I do believe that Fonterra can really make New Zealand the dairy nutrition capital of the world. In fact, you are, uh, Fonterra is already the envy of the dairy world, but it can make New Zealand the dairy nutrition capital of the world. He's clearly been following the headlines in New Zealand recently, not shying away from the contentious topic of milk pricing. I know that uh, the consumer price of milk is a topic. Uh, I have read uh, on a distance also a lot um, in the media. I know it's a hot topic. The perception is that the price is too high and for me always when you connect to consumers, customers and community, perception is reality. So it is, it is really uh, bothering, it is bothering us and uh, we will uh, take it back to the drawing board. We will take uh, a fresh look at it, yeah, at this issue. And he went some way towards reassuring farmers the cooperative model, which they fought so hard for in 2001, is as strong as it ever was, while also appealing to the environmentalists out there. After 23 years with Friesland Campina, Sperings faces an entirely new challenge with Fonterra, an already established and thriving cooperative. His first task at the helm will be to meet with the 10,000 people he'll be working for, probably not all of them though, in a series of farmer meetings around the country over the next couple of weeks. Drew Chappell, Country 99 TV News.